Tim LaFay for Pedal Magazine. Here we are in the middle of the infield at the Mattamy National Cycling Center. And right behind me is the board for Ed Veal's world record hour attempt. And we're hoping for a Canadian record today and perhaps a world record. And halfway through, it looks very promising. Come on, Ed! Mattamy National Cycling Center. The buzz is alive and well. Ed Veal is trying to break the world hour record. There he is behind me, tucked in a narrow position. So we're about half a minute away from, from Ed's hour wrapping up. Looks like we're indeed going to have a national record, 47.6k an hour. He's amping it up. Everyone's excited. We go three, two, one, and that's it. Our record. 47.591 kilometers per hour. All right. We're keeping it real here with Eddie Veal. Yes. He's got the new Canadian record, 35 to 39 year olds. And the actual distance was? 47.59. Yeah. Zero. So pretty impressive. How, how, did, how does it really feel for your back and your legs to sit on the bike for an hour like that and have complete sustained effort? It's, uh, it's funny. It's like driving a car and you got your pedal to the, get the metal and it's, you got nothing. You got your gutless car and there's nothing more. It's <laughs> tapped out screaming. There's no nothing. So you know? at the end we saw you get off your bike and just kind of like give it a little more out of the saddle and that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to keep it yeah, that, that, that you know speed what? going. Um, you're, it's, you're in a cadence, you know, normally in a road you get switch gears, you can push a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no push. So I just thought if I spun, you know, got a little bit and then I get on top of the gear again. But you know, a lap later, boom, I was back in that same grind, the same <laughs> spot. So I, I watched uh, Voight do that and I right. thought, wow, that's genius. You're falling apart, you know, like stay and sit, stay and sit, whatever it takes, you know, and then uh, it, uh, you know. No, it, it, you know what, buddy? It, it's a very impressive effort. It, even a, I know this is a part of your. Uh, Ed's, Ed's a part of the Canadian Team Pursuit team, and he'll be at, participating at the Pan Am Games in July. And I know this this training can't hurt. <laughs> no, it can't right? hurt. It can't hurt. But it's so different. That's the thing. I can't. I couldn't really put a lot into this because uh, my my strength and why I'm on the pursuit team is my four minute power. It's not my hour power. I'm not a right, 40k right. time trial. So I'm. Right. Uh, but so this is like a hard man sport. I do think, you know, my, my bread and butter is four minutes. It's always been four minutes. It's, uh, and that's, that's why, you know, that pursuit is right up my alley. Yeah, yeah. well, we wish you success in, uh, in this summer. But this was very impressive to watch. And the crowd that was here and the energy, it was, it was a fantastic yeah. event. We're so glad you did it. Thanks, Congratulations. Man, I, I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you very much. You kept walking around the track. He was good, though. It was...